Hi guys, Mick here. Welcome to Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. So, what am I talking about today? Well, survival kits today, I think. So, survival kits come in three different types. Okay, they come in the micro survival kit, which is quite often just a very, very small tin containing some essential items that if you found yourself on a desert island, might well come in handy for you. The other type of survival kit you most commonly see is Mahusif. Ah, they're normally sort of a 20 litre, 40 litre, sometimes even an 80 litre bag designed to keep you alive for 72 days on a desert island. However, the most common type of survival bag you're ever really going to need is what I would call the mummy bag, the middle bag, the three bears since though. You know, one's too big, one's too small. The one in the middle is the one you really want. So, in reality, what are most of us going to come up against? Think about it carefully to yourself. Think about the environment you're in, where you are in the world. Okay. Now, these situations can vary drastically. It may be that you're in a desert, jungle, Arctic. You could be in a, an arboreal forest in the northern hemisphere. So you've got to adjust your kit to whatever you need. So I was thinking, what would I throw in the back of the vehicle? What do I carry in the back of the vehicle? as a just-in-case kit. What would I carry? What would I keep around the home? Well, around the home, you see what I've got, okay? And that's many years of gathering kits, training, getting out places. But one thing you'll see quite often up on the wall, you'll see those red bags. One of those is Burns dressings um, and Burns treatment first aid bag. And the other one is my general first aid bag. Small enough kits that they can drop in the bottom of a, a bag or say a 40 litre bag or a 20 litre bag sit at the bottom I've got them with me so on top of that alongside those is that so that is what I call my general would call a general survival kit now general survival kit is the essentials it is the 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 fundamentals the basis that you build everything off of okay so in this you will see there is no pan for cooking there is no cup for drinking there is no spare coffees. There is no spare munchies, really, um, because those things are stuff that I would carry elsewhere in my pack. I might be well equipped with. This pack really just deals with the absolute essentials that I'm going to need to get by. So we'll go through it and we'll talk about how, I, how I've come up with this system for me. So firstly on the top, there's a roll of one inch duct tape. Now, the reason there's a roll of one-inch duct tape on the top is it has a thousand and one uses. It's also my go-to plaster method, okay? And I hear you say, plasters, Mickey? Yes, plasters. But the problem with most plasters, if you have a cut, a scrape, or an injury, is they're pretty poor at actually dealing with wet weather, muddy conditions, grotty conditions. So that is really for sealing a wound, protecting a wound, or even closing a wound if I had to. And I do find this, this Gorilla Tape is really, really good for that. You could tear it down in strips and make sutures out of it. You can use it to cover something or to hold a wound closed, and it is pretty effective. Okay, here you're screaming infection. Deal with the infection when you get home. Next to that is a little carabiner. Why is a little carabiner on there? Well, I might not have an easy carry system for this, so I might want to hook it onto the outside of a bag, clip it onto my belt, okay? You may even find something else that you want to carry or clip onto yourself. So they're worth carrying. A universal clip system worth carrying with you. Right, let's get into the bag. And again, as you see, it's a nice small bag. It's not too much to deal with. If we open it out, it opens out. Now, first things that you're going to find in there is that. Now, that is a luminous green masking tape. That is an indicator tape. If I have find myself in a position where I've marked a casualty and I need to find a way out and find a way back to them, that's what I'll use. And I'll use small pieces of that on the tips of branches all the way out so that I can find my way back. Also, if I'm lost somewhere, I can start marking my trail. I can say to people, follow me. Where a branch comes over the set of trail, a little bit of tape folded over, squashed around it. I can mark miles with that. 
Okay, so I'm always going to be able to find my way back to and from. Now that comes from doing a bit of, of, of searching for people, trying to find people that are lost in places. Simple thing like that, which is pennies to buy on Amazon, uh, and really is no weight to carry, can make a lot of difference. So elsewhere in the pack, open the pack out, cordage, okay? And I've got the brightest cordage I can in the pack for exactly the same reason. This is an emergency pack. This isn't an escape and evasion pack. This isn't a I'm avoiding the enemy pack. This is a damn, the, the, damn, that's a bad word to use at the moment, isn't it? There's been flooding, there's been a disaster, a landslide, building collapses, whatever's happened. Okay, I'm in rescue mode, not not hiding mode. So again, cordage. Can never have enough cordage. And that is paracord. However, I would also have in here, which I haven't today because I've actually used it on another project. I've taken it out because it's running short. Bank line. Okay, I'll always recommend back line to people. So break the kit down what have we got in here so we'll start with this piece in this pocket here simple cigarette lighter okay can't go wrong with it got a little bit of in torch great okay but if that fails me waterproof matches okay on top of that really just small because I've already got a first aid kit that hopefully I'll be able to grab but if something goes wrong and I can only grab one thing I'm grabbing this pain relief allergy relief diarrhea relief water purification tablets so we'll get come back to that because I'm only carrying a couple okay so on the other side of the kit coming back to water water is what you require for life if you see any um aid going out anywhere any form of rescue any form of, of disaster one of the first things that people are, are desperate for is water okay so in this i can pack my soya with its squeeze bag not forgetting the cleaning pump okay um a one litre sealable bag and behind that my mill bank bag so that section there is given over to water now that means that I can pretty much get safe water anywhere I am okay I can filter my water I can drink my water I can supply water to others it's, it's simple water is life okay coming into the other side okay other essentials that you're going to need to carry it's a torch good quality torch okay you want a torch as well that goes to a low setting i see so many of these super bright torches but how long does the battery last you actually want a torch with quite a reasonably low setting you want more you want longer life rather than an intense beam okay you are not really going to need to see 10 miles what you are going to need to see is that five meters in front of you now you say yes, but signaling, Mickey. Okay, so the human eye can pick out a candle burning in perfect conditions from 15 kilometers away. That isn't very bright. Okay, if you've got a light and there's a light moving in the distance and there's a light being reflected around, you'll see it, you'll notice it. Okay, so again, if you look at ships at sea, yeah, they can be five, six miles apart, they can be quite low level of light. And you'll pick it out, you'll see it. So on top of that, just as a backup, ferrocean rod, along with a bit of fat wood. Okay. Just in case I'm in the middle of nowhere in the boonies. An emergency shelter system. Okay. These are quite easy to get. Yes, they're not the most rugged thing in the world, but I can tell you now from experience, early hours of the morning, freezing cold in the middle of nowhere. That'll keep you going. Glucose gel, okay, instant energy hit that, worth having with you. A good quality rescue knife, okay, get the best quality rescue knife that you can, doesn't matter which make it is, this one is uh, an SE, okay, but get yourself a good quality rescue knife, something you know you can rely on. 
Silence. Chem lights. These should be in all your kits. Whether it's for signalling, whether it's for giving light, whether it's for leaving with a casualty so that you can find your way back to the casualty, these things are superb. You can use these in high risk situations without any concern of fire. Okay? You, you're not going to cause a forest fire, ignite fumes, or anything like that with one of these. And that's where they come into their own. There are environments where I wouldn't even want to spark that up because it might be a high fume risk. And yes, it's just a tiny torch, but there is a risk of spark from that. So again, by being able to go over to that, it's an added bonus. And on top of that, lastly but not least, Kendall Minke. Okay, high energy. Absolutely loathe these things. I think they taste absolutely gopping, but packed with calories, packed with energy keep you going keep you moving and that's as you see it is quite a simple kit there's not a lot in there probably the most important thing in there beyond the torch is the water being able to purify water and all that slips in a little pack that big that can then live under the seat in the car you can live on the seat in the car it can go in your pack if you're going out and you're having your adventure you've got an emergency bag you can stick it on your belt and then stick all your camping gear in something else. It gives you a go-to system. And again, this can then supplement your hiking kit. So you've got water for your purification there. Don't need to stick it in your bag. Got a fire lighting system. Don't need to stick it in the bag. Got your torch. Take a head torch as well. Two torches. Brilliant. Got a knife. So you can now carry your food. You can carry your cook system. You can carry your tentage and also in your main bag. So okay. But it all builds off of that small survival kit and if you're a backpacker hiker explorer or adventure of any sort that should be where your kit begins okay your kit should begin with the of it's all gone it's up what have i got what am i going to use and then everything else upon that becomes luxury pleasure a bonus and a wonderful thing so guys, that was my video for today and survival kit. So again, a lot of you are going to come back to me and say, oh, I've got a sewing kit in mine. I've got a fishing kit in mine. I've got a Glock in mine. I've got this in mine, that in mine. Yep, absolutely brilliant. And you're doing exactly the right thing. You start with the absolute basic kit, the absolute basic fundamental requirements of what you need to survive. And then you build on that. And everything you add to it improves it. Try not to let that kit become the daddy bear kit because it becomes too big, too heavy, too impractical for you to carry on a regular basis. Have that kit slimmed down to those essentials of fire, water, shelter, basic calories to keep you going, keep you motivated, keep you moving forward. And everything else then builds on top. Guys, please pop over to the channel. Um, we've got a couple of new things coming in. Uh, we've got a, a section on herb law and um, hedgerow medicines. So that's going to be starting on a playlist soon. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. That's some traditional stuff. That's getting back to um, learning some traditional herb law, some kitchen law, um, hedge witchery, if you wish to call it that. Um, very interesting. Kaz is hosting that. Uh, and I've been thoroughly enjoying learning a bit more from her. So anyhow, if you want to pop over and have a look at that, do so. Show us some love. Show us some support. Other than that, thank you very much, guys. Have a great day wherever you are. This is Mickey, Hampshire Outdoors Survival. Love those you do. Forgive the others you don't. And as always, may peace and light be upon you all. Till next time, that's Mickey out.